Hi, I'm Brad, Skipper of Puffin. For the next couple of minutes, I'm going to talk to you about displacement hulls versus planing hulls. What is the definition of each? What are the advantages and disadvantages of each? What does this mean to you when you go select your own boat? Any discussion of displacement has to include Archimedes' principle. Archimedes was an engineer and physicist, amongst other things. He was born back in 287 BC. And he was the first one to claim that any object thrown into water or any other liquid would displace exactly the same amount of weight as the weight of the object. So, if it weighed zero pounds, it wouldn't sink at all. If it weighed five pounds, it would shoulder aside exactly five pounds of the liquid or water that it was immersed in, and then it would come to an equilibrium. If it weighed ten pounds, it would displace ten pounds of water. Now, every boat sitting still doesn't generate lift, and so every boat sitting still obeys Archimedes' principle and it displaces the same amount of water as the weight of the vessel. Did you ever stick your hand out the window of a car while you're driving, and as you tilt it, you feel lift on your hand because of the wind passing over or passing underneath, and it reflects down and it gives you lift? Well, the same thing happens in the water. If you move a plane through the water, it's going to push down on the water and or you could say that the water is pushing up on it. The effect is the same and you're going to get lift. The amount of lift has to do with the angle and the speed at which the plane is moving through the water. But that plane, that flat plane, is where we get the term planing and we're going to about to apply it to a boat. So here we have three holes. They look the same above the water, but below the water it's a different story. On the planing side, this speedboat has a hole shape that has planes in it, and those planes, when it moves through the water, pushes down on the water, or the water pushes up on it. It gives the boat lift, and that lift picks it up out of the water, and it allows it to go very fast. On the other end of the spectrum, you have displacement hold boat. That rounded shape doesn't have any planes in it. So it's not generating any lift as the boat moves through it. This boat will continue to shoulder aside the same amount of water as it moves forward regardless of the speed. And so it's fairly slow. In the middle you have semi-planing hulls. These semi-planing hulls do have planes in them. They're not quite as fast as the speedboat. They're not quite as slow as the displacement boat and they get some lift from those planes. So which hull is right for you? Well, a lot of that depends on what's important to you. Relative to a displacement hull, a planing hull is faster, it's more agile. On the other hand, there's less volume inside the boat. It's going to have a lower range because it's using more power to move through the water. Typically it'll have a bigger engine and those cost more. It'll carry less because in order to come up on plane, it has to lift that weight. So it's more affected by the weight. And its motion in the water is stiffer. It's corkier. And that might not be as comfortable for your passengers. Relative to a planing hull, a displacement hull boat, it, it'll carry more weight because of the displacement. It has a greater range. It, it uses less fuel with typically a smaller engine. There's more volume inside, and the motion of the boat is more comfortable than, let's say, a planing boat. On the other hand, it's slower. If, uh, if you'll look at my video on hull speed, it'll, that'll kind of give you an idea just how slow. And it has typically a deeper draft, or more sticks down further in the water. And that might eliminate some areas you'd like to cruise in. In the middle of all this, are semi-planing vessels or semi-displacement vessels depending on how you wanted to term them. You'll hear terms like fast trawler. You'll hear terms like um, steep dead rise. There's a bewildering array of terms as boat designers try to draw the advantages of each type of vessel together to give you what you want. Most sailboats are displacement hold boats and Puffin is no exception. I bought Puffin because I wanted to cross oceans, 
I wanted to go to far-flung beaches and live there for a couple of months with every comfort of home. I wasn't too concerned about speed, but I wanted something that was comfortable for my guests and passengers so that they wouldn't get seasick, that they would enjoy their vacation. I'm hoping that the boat that you've selected does the best for you.